Okay, but okay, all right, fellas. So I'm back here with yet another video. It's the second day of the year. So what are you doing as of right now, uh, besides watching my damn YouTube video, huh? Nothing. That's what the hell I thought. Anyways, fellas. So I'm back here on Reddit yet again, and I'm gonna look for some cringe. Shit. So hey, wish me good luck. Uh, okay, not. okay, wait. So this is a clip from like a kick streamer, obviously. So this guy is clearly going around and uh, harassing people. I'm just assuming that because you know he's a he's a kick streamer, and he, you know what I'm saying. Wondering, bro. You know? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I said you look like a bit of a cuck. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Fucking. Oh, stop. You slap me? Uh, Come back here, little. What are you walking away for? What are you walking away for? What are you walking away for? Come back. Uh, at least this man has like a pair of nuts on him, okay? And like he's not walking around with like his security, you know, like harassing people. He's actually just like he's actually just harassing people and we'll fight him over it. You know what I'm saying? Because like a neon and Jack Doherty, yeah, now like they hide behind their security guard and talk. POV, a YouTuber asks you to uh, to film a food review. <laughs> hey, quick question. Can you take a video of me real quick? Sure. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we have some new num noms. <laughs> today, we have some amazing check snack. And check it out. We have some Catalina Crunchy Keto-Friendly Cinnamon Toast Cereal. <laughs> okay, so I get that this is supposed to be funny somehow. Yeah, so as a grown man, I, I you know I tend to find this this a type of video to be uh, utterly disgusting and like uh, utterly useless. And uh, people who make these types of videos are completely useless in our society as of lately. So I generally believe that like as like a that as a collective that like we should shame TikTok influencers and people who make TikTok videos and want to go out in public and, and like do this stupid. <laughs> As you guys know, we have seen what this rib looks like. Wow! Could have been better on the rib. I'm gonna give this rib. Honestly, uh, why is the guy still holding up the camera? I don't understand. I would have been dropped it. Like, uh, like as soon as I saw that dumb. Well, hello guys, what's going? Like, bro, I would have thrown the camera at you and started fighting you. Real sh Like you're a grown man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Six out of ten. Um. Did he just make the sound effect with his own mouth? I'm done with this video. I'm done. Get, get it like get this on my screen. I never want to see this video ever again. Okay. Like bro, like get rid of TikTok. I don't understand like why why am why am I seeing this as of right now? Why 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 am I seeing this? I don't does this video exist? Why is TikTok still still uh, still around? I don't understand like why is it the most popular social media? I've dropped a million dollars out of a helicopter to people. Yeah, nah, I, I do kind of have a problem with like a rich people that do this type of shit. It's like they already think that like they're above us and then like they just want to throw out money and like they get off at uh, watching people like, you know, watching the worms below them uh, scramble, you know, to like grab the money. That's basically what like what like I get from this types of videos. It's just like, why? Like, did you really have to throw the money out like out of the helicopter and then just watch like uh, hundreds and thousands of people uh, squirm around and run around like, you know, with, with like a chicken with their head cut off, just uh, picking up the money? Like, like I get that like people are that desperate for money, but like, damn, like, bro. Like, have you no dignity? I bet you that most of these people would suck some some money. They would get ass for a million dollars. I bet you they have no soul. These are these are these are NPCs. They have no soul. They they generally are have have no soul. Never in my life just have a rich person ever. Yeah, James, do you want like a million dollars? Well, here you go. Pick it up. Like, real you go pick that and, and like just hand it to me, piece of fuck you. Huh? What did you just do? You just cut my headphones. What do you mean? You just cut my headphones. I don't get on how, like, bro, why are, why are, why, like, why is it okay to mess with people in public like this? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What the f you do? Like, you better give them, like, a new pair of headphones. You just cut my headphones. You don't need headphones. Man, I need headphones. What are you doing? 
What do you mean? Why, with why did you Why did you cut my headphones? What did I do? Why are you coming towards me? Look. I swear. Listen. He would never do it to someone like me, though. Like, it, like uh, they always do it to people who are weaker. I'm just saying. Like, listen. We talk about tipping culture and the weirdest place that you've ever been asked to tip. Really quick. I went shopping for my wedding. Okay, so I went to Five Guys and I was gonna pay pay with like my card, and then it, and then like the screen pops up saying if like I, I wanted to add like a tip or something, like a tip to who? Like uh, who would I be tipping the f***ing store that like I already spent the twenty dollars on my burger and fries for? You son of a. <laughs> Again, but louder. <laughs> Did he just call them bots? Bro, like these people are just minding their own business. Leave them alone, you fuck. <laughs> You're out here screaming and causing a disturbance out in public, and then like you want to call them NPCs and bots? They're just minding their own business, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, you just look like a complete d One of my wives, towards the end of our marriage, I remember very clearly for the. Okay, wait, so one of your wives. So I'm guessing this man is like a practitioner of the Muslim uh, religion. They can have multiple wives, and like, what? Like, so, like, you somehow divorced one of them? If he has 10 years of our marriage, she wore niqab, a full face veil. And yeah. Then all of a sudden, she'd randomly take it off. All of a sudden, her profile picture was appearing on her WhatsApp, as in her face was appearing on her WhatsApp. Now you have to understand, you might think, well, what's the problem with that? Is she covered appropriately? Fine. The issue was a clear display of regression. This is so crucial, I can't emphasize this enough. It doesn't matter if it's halal. What you must pay attention to is the regressive behavior because it's indicative of something more serious. Okay, bro, so this man is <laughs> so, okay. So let me get this straight, right? So like uh, one of your wives, she was wearing like, you know, like the full like a face mask and everything. She, you know, like she already had everything covered up, and like she was covering up her face. So she takes off the mask and changes her WhatsApp profile picture to her face, but like she's still wearing the uh, he a uh, hijab. And you took that as like a sign of regression and like just a slippery slope, or like you know, like a uh, a snowball effect, as in it, as in it's gonna get worse and worse. So you just divorced her and left her. At, so so like for the decade that she was with you, that that doesn't matter like all muslim okay okay bro all right bro i don't under okay bro what is going on with like the like the um like the muslims you know like uh, basically like these religious people like you know like uh, i'm also starting to uh to uh, like a uh, to like a uh, take notice that like uh, some of these content creators are claiming uh, claiming religions that they obviously don't can practice all muslims do not eat oreo cookie they apparently have the satanic logo on that can be black magic they said it's got the leviathan cross and the freemason symbol Yo, Allah, please tell me this is not true okay bro uh, i do kind of have like a belief of like certain symbols actually you know being on like uh, on certain products and like certain brands and everything but i think like you're overthinking it with the f oreo cookie so you <laughs> you put so like you f so like you a man is to sit here and study a f Oreo cookie. Find a symbol that it matches up with the satanic marking. I, I, dude, what the fuck, like, bro? You're overthinking, like at this point, bro. Like you're just reaching, like you know, like, uh, like at this point in, in races. Girl, uh, okay, so girls watching, teacher. Okay, so you, you can go now. Okay, so me getting released from timeout. Okay, so uh, I think like people who are so fixated on like their youth, like fixated on like about things that like happened, like on uh, what they did as like a child, they're usually predators. And this guy obviously uh, uses TikTok, so it's like he should be put on like a list, honestly. Like honest, like uh, to be honest with you, like just put that man like on a list, like a real shit. Quest Airlines will offer an entire row to plus size flyers, according to the company's customer of size policy. A whole row. This, yes, there was. So, like, they. So, these airlines actually uh, complied and uh, followed what the uh, fat women were complaining about on the internet. Uh, dude, dude, like, listen, as a business, that is like, as it, like, you're a business. Like, bro, bro, what the f? Dude, why are, are you bowing down to these people? Why are you bending the f? to these people as a business? Like, real sh. You look weak as f. I'm not, I'm not flying with you, niggas. Weak as f. The f.
on my screen. I'm done with this video. I'm done with this. Anyways, fellas, so hey, man, if you enjoyed my video and uh, if you want like a good New Year's and like, and like if you don't want any bad luck to happen to you like in this New Year's in 2024, how about you go ahead and leave me a like? Maybe just a little subscribe if like you really enjoyed of what I had to say to you. So hey, man, get the hell out of my face. Bye.